Hello everyone. Welcome to the upcoming show. I must say episode 8 of When Goes the Heart is really interesting. Finally, Mesu reveals her secrets and there is a twist in the tale. Nathan arrest his new crush Mesu. Now let me reveal what happened on episode 8 of When Goes the Heart season 9. We all know Hope Valley is having Hope Valley days but suddenly a man named Jeffrey Lewis enters and drops a bomber by claiming himself to be May Sue's husband. The man is still in Hope Valley and now has brought a legal marriage documents. This literally disturbs everyone especially Nathan. So he decides to confront May and ask her to tell who she really is. May reveals that she apprenticed for Geoffrey while in school and later took a job at his pharmacy. But Geoffrey had other things on his mind for May. He wanted something more than friendship from May. May refused his advances, but Geoffrey started ruining her image by telling people they were married. So she had no option than to run away from him. So she fled to Hope Valley to escape him, but he followed her. Nathan believes her story, but that's not enough. He needs to find proof that Geoffrey is lying. On the other hand, Geoffrey is still trying his best to get me to return with him to Chicago. So he goes into Nathan's office and asks him to arrest me. Nathan refuses to do so, but Geoffrey threatens to create trouble for him and entire Hope Valley. So with a heavy heart, Nathan puts me behind bars. But actually, me in prison became a golden chance for Nathan and me to spend time together and know each other well. Also, Nathan decided to help her by writing a telegram to Chicago to clear her name. May is thankful to Nathan. It almost looks like they might kiss and Nathan certainly looks a little disappointed when things don't go that way. Nathan might not get a kiss, but he does get a big hug later in the episode when he finds evidence that Geoffrey is actually married but not to May. He abandoned his real wife back in Tanoi. Now it seems Geoffrey is in real trouble as his real face has been revealed. Thankfully, May is not a culprit at all, which is good for everyone, especially Nathan. In this episode, we also saw Faith has been asking Bill to go to Union City for a chest X-ray, but he is ignoring her suggestions. But his health is declining day by day. As soon as he pulls out that handkerchief during a coughing, he was coughing blood. Now that's a real thing to worry about. That incident is enough to get Bill to pay another visit to the doctor, but he's still being careless about his health. So Faith gives him a bottle of cough syrup and tells him to take it whenever needed. But Bill takes too much of the medicine. Now, overdose of medicine will obviously show its effect. Bill became high under the influence of drugs. It's amusing to see him sprawled out in the order jail cell and commiserating with May about his ex-wife. Even after all this, Bill still finds the time to pull off something special for her pally days. He had told everyone he was planning an April Fool surprise, but he has actually arranged to have a Christmas tree set up in the center of town. Now, this scene was beautiful as after a long time we got the authentic taste of when cost the heart lee has discovered the power and the peril of the written word though he realized sharing his unvarnished opinions in valley voice editorials he is now facing the consequences he came who has struggled to find the footing as who valley's new mayor has been hurt by his persistent criticism lee tries to pass things up with his friend but Hikam is not so ready to forgive and forget. Even Rosemary admits she underestimated the impact the paper would have. Other movements that were in episode 8 was Lucas takes over Elizabeth's class for the day and discovers he has a gift for teaching. Ali is ready for Nathan to settle down. Apparently, she wants a little brother or sister. He tells Elizabeth and Lucas 
that's followed by a nice moment where Nathan says he realized love can't be forced, only freely given. Elizabeth helps a woman who runs a rural school. Nate shares more lessons about Hanukkah, which he says is about hope and miracles. Lee lets Rosemary dress him up as Romeo, complete with unfortunate bangs. That's it for this video. If you like our content, like our video, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for notifications.